Hey guys, welcome back. Team Man the Train Man here. Today I um, want to do a special video showing you all of my post war trains that I have. Um, so let's begin. Right here I have the Seaboard NW2. It's missing the uh, little antenna thing over here. It's been a little beat up, but it's a very nice runner, 6250. Had to have that since I'm living in the south. So, very nice little engine and it runs really good. Also, here I have the Milwaukee Road uh, 2338 GP7. Um, these are very nice engines. It's got a little crack over here, but other than that, this thing runs like a charm. If you just sit it on the track, I mean, it'll go. You power up the transformer. Um, also, if you ever find one with a solid orange stripe, you know you've got something rare. And here we have the 41 switchers. Um, you guys remember I did a video showing them a while back. This one runs better, but it also has a little bit of an indention right here. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. And this one's body is perfect, but it's missing some letters. So this is the better runner of the two but still very neat little engines. And also we have Lionel track cleaning car um, from the 1950s. A very nice little car. It actually cleans the track pretty good. Lionel lines is faded. I may get a new shell someday, but uh, that's it for engines. Now I know you're probably wondering why is that green um, hand car and that engine not up there. Well, those are pre war trains. All of that right there. That one and that one. Pre war. Um, the steam engine up there is actually in 1938, I believe. So that's why they're not up there. They're from the 30s. So this is all post war after World War II. Now, let's get into some cars. Um, I have a good many cars, don't have a whole lot, but you know, they're post war and I like them. Uh, this is a Hopper 643625 Hopper. Put a coal load in there. I bought this for like 10 bucks off eBay. Very nice car. And then here we have the Baltimore and Ohio double door box car. Very nice box car. If you ever find it in Tuscan, buy it. Uh, that'd be really rare. Here we have the Pennsylvania operating car. You see the little guy that comes out. It's a very nice car. Um, I've had it for a little while now. It's fun operating around the layout. Here we have two Lehigh Valley uh, hopper cars. Um, very nice. Very nice hopper cars. And we have two Sunoco tankers. Um, I bought like both of these for 12 bucks. So. You don't, if you don't buy Pub Store, you need to. Not only because it's cheap, but because it has character. One thing I like about these Pub Store trains is, is you know some kid played the mess out of this. I mean, look at the scratches on that. And that's why I like Pub Store trains. So, here's the cabooses. Uh, this one's missing a little side piece. I don't know how that happened, but it was like that when I bought it. I bought it for like five bucks. And then I got the 6257 Southern Pacific caboose. That's a very nice one. And just a Lionel solid red. And now I'm going to show you some other stuff I have. This is a Sioux Line operating boxcar post war celebration series. And that's a post war celebration series ballast temper. Um, I like celebration series because. One, they're not as expensive because a Sioux Line car would cost you about $700. And they're a lot of fun to run around the layout. So, this is my post-war collection. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And thanks for watching. 